Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. <clears throat> Let's see. Try to pull it up. Here it is. Let's see who's joining us. Hi, Aunt. Hey, Robin. So glad you could join us. Miss Carol, welcome, welcome. Hello, ladies. All right, bear with me just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and share this with my groups, if it will let me. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Well, let me share. Hmm. No? Hmm. <laughs> no, it's not going to let me do it from here. Hang on, bear with me here. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll copy the link and do it that way because it's going to be a pain in the neck. All right, groups. Here. And post. Okay, Facebook keeps changing the way we do things and it really makes it very difficult. All right, so let's see if we can get back to where we were. Okay, there we are. Hey, Nance. Miss June, glad you could join us. Thank you for sharing, ladies. I do appreciate it. Hello there, Miss Sherry. Okay. No sound? Can everybody else hear me okay? Okay, good. Robin has sound. All right. So... Maybe Carol will need to close it and rejoin. And I'm crooked. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, no, it's not playing nice. They keep, like I said, changing how I can share, how I can, all kinds of things. And it's making things hard. <laughs> like to try to figure it all out each week it's a different way to do things all right well today we are focusing on the nothing's better than sweet um, bundle I should say it's not a sweet it's a bundle and I'm telling you this set is awesome but first I do want to remind everybody that we are still in our bonus days, which means for every $50 you spend, you do, do earn a $5 coupon code. Oh, good, Carol. Glad you got sound now. You do get a, a coupon code worth $5 to use in August for any purchases made then. So, Yahoo! We all love to save a little something. Everyone who's on my list should be receiving their catalogs if you have not gotten your holiday um, August to December um, you should start seeing it any day so keep me posted if you don't receive yours um, probably I would say in the next couple of weeks let me know um, but like I said I do know a few of you have gotten yours in the mail so keep your eyes peeled lots of awesomeness in there 
and that does go live actually not this week coming that we're in but the following week August 4th but the set focusing on you will find in our current annual catalog oh good Deborah you got yours yay and that says in here I don't remember which page it's on but anyway it's in here and it's awesome we're gonna do some really fun stuff with it tonight but I do have prize patrol we have winners from last week we had the champagne uh, rhinestones and the basic pearls and those go to Champagne rhinestones, Lori Brooks. I haven't seen her pop on yet, but if anybody sees Lori, she's our prize winner for the champagne rhinestones. And I don't think I saw Sue pop on yet, but Sue Woji is our winner of the pearls. Those will go out in tomorrow morning's mail. And Deb, you won last week. I have those going out tomorrow as well, the pack of paper. Um, I was having some issues with my postage printer. Actually, the company, not the printer itself, but the company uploading money to purchase postage was giving me fits last week, but I finally got it to work. Everything's going out in tomorrow's mail, so those are coming. And then for tonight's Prize Patrol, I have two packages of this gorgeous flowering foils designer paper so for sharing and commenting next week we will draw two new winners from tonight so good luck and thank you for sharing and commenting on my video I really truly appreciate you very much all right tonight's fun projects yay we have two cards in a box and they're unbelievably easy but so stinking cute okay so card number one today's plan consume cocktails because adulting is hard and then of course a sweet box of chocolate because just you're just like chocolate you make everything better and of course these sweet little mini paper pumpkin boxes hold a lot of chocolate is that not the cutest little box you ever did see those are the mini paper pumpkin boxes easy to assemble the annual catalog awesomeness and then anybody who knows me knows I am a coffee girl I love my coffee so today is a coffee kind of day and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too all right so let's get started. We'll start with our cocktails. Because, you know, it's evening and who knows, maybe somebody's having a cocktail as, they, as we speak, right? Nothing wrong with that. Hey, Barb, so glad you could make it. All right, so for our pieces here, let's see. Oop, I'm dropping things scrap that I need all right we have a standard card base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter my bone folder and press that down just like so then I have a piece of our bumblebee card stock and I have and that measures five and a quarter by four and then I have a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Playful Patterns DSP. You're drinking your coffee now, Nance? You're my kind of girl. <laughs> I love my coffee too. It's my drink of choice any time of day. 
and this measures three and three quarters by five. So those are gonna go ahead and layer. So let's see, where did I put my adhesive? Ah, way over here. Okay, I have my stamp and seal. If you haven't tried stamp and seal yet, it really is a nice adhesive. There is a little bit of a learning curve. You don't want to be too quick with it, but it does work really well. And trust me when I tell you, the seal is a strong bond on paper. I had a little mishap earlier today when I was trying to put something on straight. They don't come apart. Oh, Robin, <laughs> yeah. I could, yeah, decaf would keep me awake too. And not because of the caffeine, it would just be the, the bathroom trip. So I try to limit my evening drinking just for that. My bladder works really, really well. Okay, I should say my kidneys, they filter. I have this beautiful bumblebee ribbon. This is the uh, bumblebee gingham. Love this stuff. And it's so soft and so easy to work with. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap this around our piece here. And find my scissors. Trim that off. And tie it. I'm going to need my tweezers. Pinch that little knot right there. Give that a nice pull. Remove the tweezers and now I can just fuss with my bow a little bit. Trim down my tails. And have my bow ready. There we go. So now we can go ahead and attach this to our card front. Let me get that positioned a little better. And again, I'm just going to use. stamp and seal and we're just gonna put that down in the center of our card just like so okay then I have a die cut piece and I used the dies from the one of the labels from the tasteful labels dies i used this one here and have my little shape then i'm going to bring in my misty moonlight and excuse me for just a moment tucker's knocking at the door so i must let him in or he'll have a fit out here And we need to find our stamp that says, Today's Plan, Consume. And that is, right here. No, that's not it. What did I do with that? Today's plan, consume. Found it. Okay. Hi, 
Hi, Sue. You are the winner of our prize patrol from last week. So congratulations, you're gonna get a package of pearls in the mail this week. They're going out tomorrow. All right, so today's plan, consume consume and we have some of our rainbow glimmer paper I cut down and I have some of our double-sided adhesive on there from the adhesive sheets and where is I need my cocktails die and we're gonna run this through and cut out the word cocktails. So we'll have a glimmery cocktails. we cut through all those layers of the glimmer paper as well as that adhesive sheet. There we go. So we've now cut it all through. Web our take your pick and just go ahead and pop that all out and make sure you don't lose the little dot over the eye. So we will need that. So we're gonna set that right there so we don't lose it. Okay, so we have our cocktails. We're going to remove that adhesive. Pull out those pieces there. Okay. So there's our cocktails. So today's plan, consume cocktails. And I did put it in a little bit of an arc instead of straight across so it fits nicely in there. And now we gotta get that adhesive sheet off that little dot for the eye. Hey Miss Betty, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. There we go. Now we're just going to use that take your pick tool to help us position. There, so now we've dotted our eye. We're gonna take a couple of dimensionals. Where did I put the dimensionals? There. We want a couple of dimensionals. Stick that on our card. And before we do our little uh, cocktail, we're gonna stamp the inside. And that is going to say, because adulting is hard. I just gotta find our because should have put these in better order so I could figure out what I had going on here. No, not 
that one. Is it here? Yes. Here we go. So because adulting is hard, I'll bet you we can all think of one person we need to send this card to. Thanks for sharing, Sue. I appreciate that. Okay, so now we have to stamp our cocktail. All right, so we just have our scrap here. And we need my little cocktail here. And we're gonna bring in our Memento Black ink. Now, each one of these stamps, like the cocktail, the coffee cup, um, the cookie, they all have pieces so that you can color these, like the umbrella, the there's a little piece to color the inside of the umbrella, there's a little piece to color in your citrus piece here, whether it's a lime or a lemon, um, and it, for the drink. However, I am going to use, other than coloring the inside here, I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Blends to color my umbrella and my glass, I guess you could call it. Um, so, I'm gonna use my light, uh, misty moonlight, and we're gonna color in our umbrella. Not being fancy, just coloring it in. But like I said, I could use the little insert piece to color it in quickly. Then I used Granny Apple for the citrus piece. I made mine a lime. So that's the light. Then I took the dark and went over the rind. And then, to give it a little extra something something, use my Wink of Stella and did the inside of that line to give it just a little shimmer. Save that, because then I'm going to do, I think this time I'm gonna use, yeah, Seaside Spray to do the base of my I used Bermuda Bay last time, but I think this time we're gonna use that color. Then we're gonna use our Bumblebee. And we're gonna find the inside of our cocktail. Ink that up. And then just line that up like so. Yep, could do the wink cell around the top of the glass, but I just took it and I did the base of the glass just to give that a little bit of shimmer, but you could actually make the whole thing shimmer. Why not, right? There we go. All right, so we have our little drink. So we're gonna go back to our dyes again, and we're gonna get our cocktail out, and we're gonna line that up and run it through our die cutting machine. So I'll be right back with you. This lined up on here. Okay. Cut. 
because this is on the smaller side, it does like to jump. So I'm going to go ahead and use a post-it note to help hold it and hope that it doesn't move. All right, so then we're just gonna take our little glass here and we're gonna add a dimensional to the back of this. Right there like so. And there is our little, oops, let's get it on there straight. Honest, I wasn't drinking cocktails before we started this. Hey, Kayleen. All right, so there is today's plan, consume cocktails. Because adulting is hard. So there you have it, card number one. And like I said, I bet you we all know one person at least that this is the perfect card for. All right. And I love this rainbow glimmer paper. This one has just a little bit more pinkish, corally tones to it. This one's more of the yellow because of the location in which I cut that out. But love, 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 love. Okay. On to our chocolate our box of chocolate I love the box of chocolate like I said who doesn't love chocolate every now and again right and like I said these little boxes hold I've got let's see three six nine I got 12 mini Hershey bars in here and you make everything better you're just like chocolate you make everything better Love this. Love, love, love. Okay. And how we do it. I am going to show ya. Alright. Here's how these boxes come. They come in a package of 10. And they're all flat like so. They are food safe. So you can put your baked cookies in here. You can put in, you know, whatever works for you. If you wanted to do cookies, which I did not make a card with this set using the cookies, but there is a cookie. They can do I love you more than cookies, which I promise I will use this week and post. All right, so the shiny side in, you're just gonna fold on all of the squirrel lines that Stampin' Up! provided for us, so they made this really easy to put together. They're just like our pizza boxes. So fold all those score lines. Easy peasy. Alright, so then you bring these tabs in. I like to fold this back so it's out of the way. Fold these tabs in this one in this comes down and over and those little tabs tuck in this comes in like so and those little tabs tuck in and then our box tucks like so just like that again totally easy then I have my little pieces here. I have a piece of early espresso. This measures five and three eighths by three and a half. I have a piece of the 2020 to 2022 in color designer series paper and this is the uh, cinnamon, uh, yeah, cinnamon cider, that's it. I have a scrap of the early espresso for cutting out our chocolate. 
I have a die cut piece, which is from the labels, um, Tasteful Labels. It's this one here. And I have the cinnamon cider ribbon. And this ribbon is really soft and silky. It's a very tight wove, weave, wove. Yeah, I can, I can talk, honest, I promise. And it makes it very soft and very easy to tie. Okay, how this is gonna go together. We are going to attach our designer paper to Tucker wants out, so bear with me. Go on with ya. Daddy's supposed to be keeping you occupied. So we're just gonna center our paper on here like so. I love this DSP too. And it is the In Color Collection and it is awesome. All right, so now we're gonna bring in that beautiful cinnamon cider ribbon. And again, we're just gonna snip that off like so. Get that up there like there. And we're going to tie a bow on the edge here. out of the way okay there we have it and we're just going to trim our tails then we can go ahead and attach this to our box top Just going to center that on our box top. Like so. Alright, so then we're going to bring in our die cut piece, our little label here, and we're going to do just like. And that is here. Wow, I'm having trouble seeing here. Okay, I got it. And we're gonna use the Early Espresso ink pad, which is right here. Okay, you're just like You're just like and we need the word chocolate so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our adhesive sheet and let's see let's cut off I don't need that long but let's do
is peeled off. Maybe. It is a very versatile set. And like I said, you have something here for everybody. There's cookies, there's chocolate, there's cocktails, and there's coffee. And there, we all know somebody who loves every one of those things. And of course, I can't peel this now all of a sudden. This usually peels really easy. There it goes. We need our chocolate and we will run this through. Mm, hubby's got the grill going and it smells divine down there. So there's our chocolate and we're just gonna poke that out with our take your pick tool out okay now we're just gonna peel that backing away love these adhesive sheets if you're doing anything fine detail like this they are perfect for getting everything glued down Okay, so now we're just going to put our oops, chocolate down. Like so. And we can go ahead and add our dimensionals. goes in like so. Now I have a scrap piece of Whisper White here and I'm going to bring in that's not it, my chocolates. Here they are. And that's one stamp with three chocolates on it. And I need my black memento ink and I'm going to stamp this twice. So we're going to do one and two. Next, I've got my cinnamon cider blends as well as my petal pink blend. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my light cinnamon cider and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my chocolate piece. I'm gonna take the dark and then just kind of go around the edge here where you kind of expect it to be a little bit shadowed from the other chocolate and then just kind of blend it out. Petal pink up here to 
just to do a light little wash there. And then we'll do the same thing on this one, that one. Okay, and we're going to do the light again. In the dark. there blend it and then this chocolate and then we're going to do the same thing over here these quick but this set I'm telling you the it's endless the ideas you can come up with for it and like I said we all can find the perfect recipient for each one of these designs easy peasy and it's just a fun set all in all and it's a lot of tongue-in-cheek and right now with everything going on in the world the way it is who couldn't use a little tongue-in-cheek to brighten their day just a little bit just to take a break from the insanity and the craziness I know I like to have a break from it now and again okay then we have a die to cut out our little pieces of chocolate so we're gonna cut these out, quick, quick. And of course, the magnet likes to jump around, so I'm gonna to try to get this lined up without it jumping out on me. There's one set of chocolates. That's okay. We'll make it work. All we're going to do is take that off. And this is the one we're going to cut apart anyway, so it's not a big deal that it jumped. Just do a little trimming on it is all. And I just want to cut 
this end of chocolate away. Trim a little bit off too. There we go. Okay, so there's our chocolates. So we're going to take the three chocolates and those are going to go up here with a couple of dimensionals. So do one there and one on this end. Hey Mary, glad you could join us. We're just doing our chocolate box. And then we're going to take our little two chocolates. And a dimensional at the bottom there and that'll go just like so and we're gonna save that little chocolate there and I've got here another scrap of whisper white and I have a early espresso circle that I cut with a scalloped circle from the layering circles dies for layering. So this I'm going to stamp. So this says you're just like chocolate, you make everything better. So I got to find my you make everything better stamp. And we're going to find our early espresso ink. direction and we're just going to stamp you make everything better in the center of this scrap just like that then I have the smallest smallest stitched circle die from the stitched shapes dies and we're going to run that through and cut that out Candy back. There's our stitched circle. We'll go ahead and add adhesive. There we go. Oh, mm, that would be awesome. I wonder, any sensey people out there? Does Sensi have one? All right, now we're just gonna add a dimensional to the inside of that. This goes to the inside of our lid, just like that, so when they open up, they find that. And we're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive to our chocolate piece. And that goes like so. So there is our chocolate box. So you're just like chocolate, you make everything better. Any scentsy people out there that can tell us, do they have a chocolate scented spray? I know a girl, I'll have to ask her. Because Deb, you might be on to something there. All right, so that's our sweet chocolate box. All right, like I said, they hold a lot of chocolate. Pretty nifty. All right, now here's the card after my heart because, well, we all know I'm a coffee girl 
every step of the way. I am coffee. Nancy's my coffee buddy. We are coffee girls all the way. Okay, so today is a coffee kind of day and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. All right, so this card, very easy to make. You start with your standard card base. I have here Misty Moonlight. I have some other pieces here, but we'll get into all those in just a minute. We'll start with our Misty Moonlight card base. And it's scored and folded at the four and a quarter, just like any other card. All right. So I'm going to bring my trimmer in because we got some work to do, though, on this piece. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. We need to bring the trimmer in. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. Let's get you. Okay, so I have my folded card base. I need to trim the top of my card. I need one inch on each side, okay? So I'm gonna open up my card and I'm gonna line it up on the one inch over here. So it's on the one inch right there, okay? But I don't wanna go any further if I can bring this light in just a little bit so I can see a little bit better. I gotta find my four and a quarter because I don't want to go past that four and a quarter mark. And it's right there. So there's my score line. You don't want to go anywhere. Any, you don't want to go past that, but you want to go to it. So we're gonna trim at the one inch mark all the way to it, okay? And back, okay, so we're to that. Now we need to do the other side. We can either move it over or you can flip it around and go up. But I'm just gonna move it over to the one inch mark on this side and do the same, oop, do the same thing. But you gotta keep it Still at that one inch and to that score line. So bring it up. You want to make sure you don't go beyond that score. So there it is. So now we have these little flippy floppies. Now you want to get the flippy floppies out of the way and we're going to do some scoring. So now we know this is four and a quarter inches long. So we want to go half of that. Bath and Barty Works has a chocolate. Hmm. Oh, Carol, good thinking. Okay. So we want to go to two and one quarter or two and one eighth rather, because that would be half of the four and a quarter. So two and one eighth, and we're now gonna score. Okay, so that folds like so. All right, so now we're done with our trimmer. Put that out of the way. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a piece of Whisper White that measures four by five and a quarter, and that's going to layer on the inside like so. Okay. So we're going to get our adhesive. So now we can bring that in and center that onto our card base, like so. 
Next thing, we're gonna glue these pieces down. down and this down okay then I have a piece or two pieces I should say of designer paper this is both these are from the Playful Patterns DSP. So we're gonna use the polka dotted side up, and these are gonna layer right on these little ends to decorate them up a little bit. So again, get our adhesive. We'll go ahead and center those. And these measure three and a quarter by four. Or I should say three quarters by four. True, Robin. True. If you're putting chocolate in it, you probably don't need to scent it. The chocolate will scent it itself. But if you were just doing a card, you could scent it with chocolate. Okay, so there's our pieces. Then I have a piece of Whisper White. This measures four by three and one quarter. And that is going to be our piece that lays on here like so. So how I started this is I need the stamp that says Today is that's the kind of there's coffee, there's that one. Here is the today is we want our Misty Moonlight ink pad. And this is going to say today is. That's going to go right there, like so. Then I have coffee. And we're going to use crumb cake for the caught word coffee. There is a die that says coffee, but I decided to stamp it this time instead of die cutting it. So we're just gonna do, today is a coffee. And then we need kind of day and that's going to be done in the misty moonlight again today is a coffee kind of day I'm going to set this aside for a minute and I've got some scraps here So, I need my coffee cup. I'm gonna stamp three coffee cups. So I'm gonna stamp the outline first in Misty Moonlight. So we need one, two, and three. Clean that off. Then we need the innards, and we're going to ink that up also in Misty Moonlight, but I'm going to stamp off. Let's do 
do that again. Line that up. Stamp off. Line it up. Yes, Nancy, I use crumb cake. <laughs> this up. We're not done with it yet, but we're going to close it up so we don't make a mess. Get our coffee cup die, and we are going to cut all three of these out. one And there's number three. So then, I'm just gonna take some adhesive. I'm gonna put this one down here, about like so. Then we need a dimensional. And that one will go Here, like so. This one will be flat up here, like that. And then we need where did I put it? There it is. Our little steam, and we're using smoky slate. Coming out of our cup. All right, so now we want to make sure we don't put any adhesive on this top part, but this is going to basically line up here like so, and then when this opens, it sits like that. So we want to make sure no adhesive goes above that line. So let's see, we want to make sure it's all on the bottom here. Okay. 
Okay. So now I have another scrap. And this is for the, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. So we need our misty moonlight. So, and I have a stitched rectangle from the stitched rectangles layering die set, and we're just going to cut this out like so. Our, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. And we have dimensionals. For each end. Hey, Don. Thanks for joining. We're just making some cute cards. Okay. So then we're just going to put this in here because this is what's going to help hold our easel up when the card is open. So there you have it. Today is a coffee kind of day and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. Okay kids, this is it. What do you think of this set? It's like one of my favorites. Here's our box of chocolates. You're just like chocolate. You make everything better. And of course we have today's plan, consume cocktails. Because adulting is hard. Thanks guys, I appreciate the hearts. Yeah, me too Nancy. You're a coffee girl like me, so the last one is gonna be our favorite. But the chocolate one I really think is gonna make great gifts. If you'd like to give little little something somethings to people to make their day. Hey Miss Lori, we're just finishing up. You'll have to go back and watch the replay. You are a prize patrol winner, my friend. Thank you, Robin. I'm glad you liked them. You're welcome, Nance. Thank you for hanging out. You're welcome, Sue. Yes, ma'am. Miss Lori, you are the winner. I know, Barb, it's easy to miss in the catalog, but no. You're welcome, Betty. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate that very much. Yes, challenge cards. For some reason, Facebook is not allowing me to pin the new post or unpin the old post. 
So I'm hoping in the next day or so it will let me because otherwise the, the post is going to get lost in there. Um, so just try to find um, challenge card number, you know, challenge number 83. I try to pin it so that it's always at the top of the page so it's easy to find. Um, but Facebook, once again, not cooperating. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you here next Sunday with some fun project of some sort. All right, have a great night, and have a great week. Stay cool, stay hydrated. It's supposed to be another hot one. Bye.